black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's subscriber sponsored request coming in from a fellow Canadian out of Montreal named Costas. He's asking me for his favorite meal after the club when he's on one, feeling hungry, a little tipsy, when everything has extra flavor. And that is a Italian style poutine. So we got some mozzarella, we got some restaurant style fries with the best fries ever, Cavendish. Some pepperoni to slice up. He really loves smoked meat on it. So we got some smoked meat here. Montreal smoked meat in honor of him being from Montreal. A little tomato sauce, some bolognese, and some hot banana peppers. And we might go ahead and bless it with some sour cream. So this one is going to be a little simple, which I like, and also very, very delicious. So let's get to chefing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this meat prepared. So I think I want my pepperoni in almost like a cubed form. So probably break it down kind of like this, like this, and then go like this, because I am gonna kind of cook these meats off ahead of time and add it to the poutine later on down the line. But I do want to get like a cook on these. So kind of cube these pepperonis like this so we can have them spread across the poutine on a more per bite style basis on the poutine all right just like so got the montreal style smoked meat here i'm just once again i'm going to cut it down into smaller pieces perfect while we're doing that prep snack can't go wrong all right gas medium high flame on Pepperoni in, smoked meat in. All right, coming along looking good here. Just kind of wanted to get some color on it. Really all I wanted to do, nothing too crazy. All right, same pan. Got this bolognese here. All right, cutting this with some straight up tomato sauce as well. The beauty of this video is, is it's definitely representative of like when you're, when you're messed up, like you wouldn't go to lengths to create everything from scratch scratch. Just things you have at home that you toss together, right? All right, while well, that sauce is coming together, go ahead and oil up these fries. We're gonna do them in the air fryer today. It's not the fryer fryer, but we are gonna add some oil to them to make them extra crispy in the air fryer. If you guys air fry your fries, try this. Just a little bit of extra oil makes them extra crispy in the air fryer. Okay, in we go. Okay, where are we at? 400, maybe 15 minutes. All right, easy peasy from here. Let's go ahead and fill this together. We got our French fries. Lots of cheese on the lower level because this is a drunk meal after the club. So we want lots of dirtiness on it. I come in with our meat sauce. Our marinara meat sauce. Bolognese. More cheese on top, of course. Gonna go ahead and throw this in the broiler for a quick minute. Now we gotta go ahead and distribute our meats, our cooked meats, pepperoni and the smoked beef. Bless it with the sour cream squirt. Go ahead and put these hot peppers on. All right, and there we have it. The Italian smoked meat, pepperoni, hot peppers, a little ice cream, meat sauce, poutine. Let's get into it. What is up, y'all? Welcome to today's video. Shout out to Costas from Montreal requesting this poutine, I should say. That is the origin, the birthplace of the poutine. So I gotta throw a little extra respect on the pronunciation of the name we have murdered it along the way and it just became poutine <laughs> but proper pronunciation puts in and this is far from traditional so i've never had a poutine like this ever in my life but hey i think it's going to be delicious first for everything why not give it a try so before we do anything more we must pop up up a pour we got the skier super sender still sticking 
and my guy needed a ice cold coke and i completely understand that when you're uh buzzed up drinking definitely a nice ice cold coke is delicious however i prefer it on the back end meaning when i'm hung over in the morning probably like a liter of this is definitely required in my hangover something about sugar and bubbles and cola that's like absolutely required for hangovers in my world and extra strength advils liquid gels a couple cokes maybe a cheeseburger or a pizza slice and more sleep that's how you cure it What can you say? There's just something so incredibly special about an ice cold, crisp, icy Coke. Absolutely. All right, let's get into this while she's still hot and steamy and has some stretch on the uh, cheese. My guy said I could put the sour cream. He, he blessed the sour cream move, so... Do not come at me about the sour cream. I was instructed about this, but you guys know I always put sour cream on things. All right, first bite, perfect bite. We got everything in there, including a pepper. Oh my God. Wow. 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 Not that I didn't expect it because it has all the ingredients to be amazing. But that is better than I ever anticipated. Look at that. Stretchy teeth. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Man down, going down. Mm. That's crazy. Even better than expected. Sour cream working perfectly, and the peppers are. Seemingly so important in cutting through the richness of, uh, like the saltiness and the richness of everything else. If you're watching this Costas, I believe you should be. It's your video. Um, I'm intrigued to know where you get your, uh, like, smoked meat, like, Italian-style poutine. Just because um, I feel like maybe you get it from smokes. Possibly. Or do you get it from like a, like a mom and pop local that does it? My suspicion of smokes is because these are for the people who don't know. In Canada, there's a poutinery called smokes. I feel like it started in like 2010 and it just it it just blew up and uh they just chained out to a bunch of places but the reason smokes got so popular is because they strayed from traditional poutine they made like butter chicken and um, like, uh, Philly cheese and, uh, buffalo chicken and 
like Italian style ones. And I'm certain that they branched out to Montreal, I would imagine. I'm pretty sure it started in Toronto. Because I very specifically remember moving there uh, in 2010 and it starting up very extremely soon after and everybody in the city was going buck for smokes poutinery like everybody was eating smokes I admit personally, uh, post uh, the bar, the club, whatever it is, drunk, I personally was never a poutine person. My favorite drunk food, I think, is and always will be McDonald's. Always love going and getting a bunch of uh, double cheeseburgers, fries, if not that, then pizza, but I will say in Toronto, lots of people love a good poutine after the bar. There's a place called Poutini's and, uh, or I just remember on Queen West. Was always packed. After. The bar. I say bar for me because. I was never much of a club guy, really. I'm more of a hole in the wall. Hipster bar kind of deal. That's what I used to go do. But to each their own. Also, one of my biggest errors living there for 10 years I'm such an idiot. I never made it to Montreal. And it's like, it's just a train ride away. I had friends that always did it. They'd always go away for a weekend. party in Montreal because Montreal is like one of the best party, best party cities from what I hear it's like everybody says it Montreal in the summer apparently just magic magnifique But I never prioritized it. Stupid. I will make up for it one day though. I will go. Unfortunately, anytime soon is definitely a no because in Canada, it's one of the most like heavily, due to the sh what's happening in the world, it's one of the most heavily like controlled areas in Canada right now. People, the government there or whatever, like the, the law enforcement there is being like crazy.
from what I've heard. But one day, I will party there in the next few years, for sure. It's on my list. All right, this will have to be final bite. Just got some scraps here left. But I am uh, sufficiently satisfied with fullness and how that tasted. Went down beautifully delicious. Better than I expected. I can 100% see how you would want to smash that when you're lit up. All right, big thanks to my guy for coming through with the suggestion and the sponsorship. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. And stay true.